Hey everyone, this is Rob from One Page Love. In this tutorial, I'm gonna run you through exactly how to make a long scrolling landing page for any business using Squarespace. It starts off using the Pacific template. I strip out all the elements. I recreate a full business so you can learn how to make it yourself. Just a quick heads up that Squarespace have given One Page Love readers an exclusive coupon. Enter the coupon OPL10 and get 10% off your plan when signing up at squarespace.com. Let's get started. I'm basing this tutorial off the Pacific template. If you don't have the Pacific template installed on default, go to design and go to template and find Pacific and install it. So when you're in the home section, there's two places we're gonna operate out of, pages and design. We're gonna start with pages, and then we're gonna tweak and fine tune the design in the end. So Pacific comes with a whole bunch of content already. A bit of a tedious step, but we're just gonna delete all the sections to make everything start from scratch. Now you'll notice there's just a header section and there's a footer, okay? So what we wanna to do to start is we wanna install our own background image. Squarespace referred to it as a banner. So a little tip, if your navigation and your banner settings start to clash, just scroll down a little bit and then click on banner. There it is. We want to remove this and we want to add our own background image. Okay. So under all our folder of images, we've got our picture of a nice array of cactuses or cacti and we upload it and we hit save. Now automatically Squarespace will optimize the image and there it is. Now you're seeing the Pacific at the top, we need to edit our site title. So we click edit, you can see on the left and we wanna call it Cacti Land, which is our brand. We hit save and you can see it's reflected. We go out of design and we go back to pages. Now what we wanna do is we want to get rid of this a middle text. So what do we do? We click edit. And you can see we have here a spacer and we have here text and we have here another spacer, okay? So the spaces are fine, but what we wanna do is we wanna upload our own logo. So we simply delete. So now you'll notice when you hover around areas within a block, okay, it tells you exactly what the items are, but we wanna add something now. So what do we want to do? We want to add an image. So you click the plus in the corner. It prompts which image would you like. I want the logo. And you'll see at the end of this video that we actually create the logo using Squarespace. It's very neat. So there it is, optimized for us. It's a PNG image, which means it's transparent. And now we simply hit apply. You'll notice now that it says right here, which is kind of a caption below. So I said, no, I don't want the caption. So we go back in, we edit, we go to the design of the logo and we say caption below, do not display a caption. You can see it's been reflected in real time, apply. So now this is kind of a tricky advanced um, way of resizing a logo, but it's quite a neat trick. And once you've done it a few times, it's pretty easy, but we need to add spaces on the side so we can center this properly. So what do we do? We click the plus, we add a spacer, you can see the space is there, and we can do it again. So we've got two spaces, and now you simply just drag the spacer to the left, okay? And now we take the other spacer, and we drag it to the right. And there you have your centered logo. Okay, so we kinda actually don't need the space at the top, so we delete that, and there it is. So we've got a nice, kinda centered, retina-optimized, um, logo in the middle and now we simply hit save. What's great about the Pacific template is that whenever we create new sections on the left in the main navigation, it automatically adds items to the top. So what we want to do now is you wanna add a new section because you wanna add an about. So we click add section, it said would you like content, gallery or an album? We want content. And now it gives you a whole bunch of different layouts. We can sift through the results to different layouts, and I want to use the about layout three. I think that'll look great. So what do you want to call the page, or the section within the, the page? You want to call it about, and you click start editing. 
So now that's looking great. We want to add an image. Here's my about image. And Squarespace uploads it for you and optimizes it. And there it is. So if you want to add your own text, you simply click in the block and you can edit accordingly. So, you know, if this is a what you see is what you get editor, you can highlight text, you can, you know, make links, italic, bold, very straightforward stuff. But once you are happy, you click save. And now you'll notice there's your about section and you'll see abouts in the top. And what's so great about the Pacific template is you click about and it smooth scrolls to the relevant section. You'll notice a default readme file in the header. This is great for legal text or impression text, but if you don't want it, you simply hit the trash icon and the page refreshes and the readme item is gone in the header. And what's quite cool about the Pacific template is that it automatically splits your items. So here we only have two sections right now, but once we have eight, it's gonna split them four on each side. So now we have our intro and we have our about. I wanna add a nice spread of images. So on the main navigation, we click add section and you see gallery, which is what you tempted to press. But just remember that gallery in the interface here is actually a big image slideshow. So if you wanted a section with big images where you could click the next arrow and it just went through a lovely slideshow of images, that's what the, this is, the gallery. But I wanna add a section of images not in a slideshow. So under layouts, I go to images and I really like the images layout three. I wanna call it gallery and I click start edit editing. There are two ways to add images to your gallery. Either hover over the element, you click the add image button and in your file browser, you find the image, open it up. Squarespace now optimizes that image and then inserts it perfectly inside the area. The second way to do it is you can actually go and open your file browser and you can take your image and you can actually drag it directly into the image block. So you'll notice now it's optimizing and it inserts it perfectly. So I'm gonna quickly just add the rest of these images. All the images are added, I'm happy, we click save. You'll start to notice now in the Pacific template, which is really neat, is that when you scroll down past a certain point, a sticky navigation actually appears. So it's easy for the user to scroll between sections. Next up, I wanna add a team section. So on the left, in the main navigation, we go to section, we go to content, and we go to layouts, and we go to team. I really like the first team layout. So we call the section team, and we start editing. So the staff of our company only has two staff members. So how do you delete this? You simply click on the items and click on the trash, the trash can icon. Okay, so the first um, person, we just add the image. I've got our team member here. And that is Sarah. And it starts uploading for you. You can add, you know, different paragraphs. And you can add, you know, any formatting you need. And then our second member, his name is not Donna, his name is Tim Green. So we simply edit that. And what's quite cool is that if you want to, you know, change this, it's currently heading three, but maybe you wanted heading two, because they're quite important people. And then that was pretty straightforward and we hit save. And you'll notice now, like we mentioned before, it's been perfectly split up in the Pacific template and it smooth scrolls down to our team section. The next section I wanna add is a testimonial from one of our favorite customers. You go to add section, you go to content. And for this example, I actually wanna show you what an starting from scratch looks like. So I'm gonna add a blank layout and you simply start editing. You'll notice here's our little content block. You hit save because I wanna actually start with the background image first to get a feel for it. So you'll notice now testimonial, it, it asks what the banner is. And remember from the intro image, banner is the background image. So we go 
to the image uploader, we add our t testimonial background. It's uploaded and now Squarespace starts optimizing. We hit save and now you'll notice the background image, beautiful background image. So in testimonial, it's got no content yet, so we click edit. Now you can either start writing or you have an option to add a pre-designed content block and I want to do a quote. There it is, a great looking t testimonial. You can edit your quotes. I'm going to keep it the same uh, source. You can have a link, but that's perfect for now. I'm going to hit apply. To add a little bit more to this content, um, this testimonial area, I'm, a, I'm going to add an image of our customer. So there he is. And it's uploaded. And you'll notice now, same as before, in the design, I don't want a caption below. So now you'll notice this image is too big. So just like before, how do we get it smaller and we center it? We've got to add spaces. There's our spacer. We add another spacer. There's two spaces. We drag them to the side. And now we have the option to start resizing. Perfect. So you'll notice now there's an area at the top. I'm going to delete it. We don't want it. And we hit save. And there's our testimonial. We'll, we'll go over making this text lighter in the design section towards the end in the, uh, during the fine tune. But that's our little testimonial. So you see nice flow of information. We've got team and we've got a testimonial from our favorite customer. The last section I want to create before we go into fine tuning the design is I want to create a contact section with a map. So under add section, go to content. And under layout, go to contact. And now I select the item I want, which is the one with the map. Um, and it's the one with the text on the left and it's got a contact form below. And we're going to call the section contact. And now we click start editing. And there you see what a great looking section. To start, I want to edit this heading here. And it's obviously not our office. So I want to call it our garden. And I feel this is a little bit too hectic, this all cap. So I'm going to change it down to heading two. And you click and add your address accordingly. When you hit return, you go to a new paragraph. If you just want to go to the next line, hit shift and return. And then below that, I actually want to have our opening hours. So I'm going to write here, opening hours. And I'm just going to make that bold. So this is a straightforward section. Here's our map. And then under contact us, you can write a little blurb. You can edit accordingly. Um, but that's fine for now. We'll fine tune that later. So you'll see here, there's our new section contact. And you can see it smooth scrolls to the relevant section. So you'll notice right at the bottom is our footer section with some social icons. To actually edit your social icons, you have to go out of pages and you have to go to settings and you have to go to connected accounts. And you can see here, I've connected all mine and that's exactly why these three have displayed below. So to, to add yours, you need to connect the relevant accounts and that'll show accordingly. So that's it for pages. I'm very happy with this, the layout, the length. I think it tells our story well for our business. It can be any business. And what we want now next is we want to fine tune the design. So I'm going to go out of pages and I'm going to go into design. First off, you click the little icon in the corner just to give a real feel so we can actually get some feedback. And upon review, I feel that there could be more space under the intro logo. And I want to change the capitalization of about. So just before we go into design, I want to just show you how easy it is to change these uh, little edits. And we go to home. We scroll down a bit. We click edit. It takes us into this, the actual editing mode. And all I want to do is add a spacer. So there we go. Perfect. Brings it down. We hit save. And then to quickly go down into about, we click on the about section. We click edit. And in our text here, we write the word about in normal case, and then we go to heading and we change it to heading two. 
So that was just a quick change I want to make. I just want to show you how quick it is to edit accordingly. And now we want to go into design. So straight off the bat, I reckon that this font here needs to change, our body font. I'm not really happy with it, it's railway. So we go into design and we go into style editor. What's really neat is Squarespace actually takes you to the relevant section within the style editor when you hover over the elements. So right here's the paragraph text, so I click it and on the left, there you go. Text font, you can see it's railway. I wanna change that. I wanna change the actual font to something you know, more legible, um, let's say Lato. Perfect. So I'm happy with Lato. And you click away. Click away again. So you can see you can click undo if you're not happy with it. Redo, just to compare them easily. And the text color, it's fine. I'm happy with it. So we hit save. Next up, as we scroll down, we kind of like the headings. This font right here, I want to make it lighter. I don't want it, it gray. So the actual text part of the testimonial is called the index overlay. It's got the quote size. We can use drag. It's quite neat. Um, it's, it's kind of fine how it is, but the quote color, I want to make it lighter. So you simply drag this lighter and you can see it's gone to a whiter text. Click away, you hit save, scroll down the page. I'm pretty much happy with most of it. So I noticed now that, you know, it says powered by Squarespace. I just want to change that to a copyright. So to quickly go back to design, you go back to pages and you go down to contact. That's where we are now. And when you hover over the footer content, you can hit edit. And now it simply allows you to go 2017 and you hit save. So yeah, I just want to demonstrate how easy it was to go back and forward between sections. I'm happy with the fonts. When I preview again, I love how we can scroll between sections, but I noticed that there's a, an about here heading, but there's no gallery heading. So I wanna quickly add a gallery heading. Go back in, we go to gallery, we click edit. All we want to do right here is add text and we wanna call it gallery. We highlight the text, we center it, and we make it a heading two. And there it is, save. We quickly went through about gallery. Here's our team names, testimonial, our garden and contact. And we have completed the landing page. Thanks for watching the tutorial. Um, stick around just after this to watch a quick little video on how I made the logo using logo.squarespace.com. To create a neat logo, head to logo.squarespace.com and enter in your company name. Click the little arrow and now you're prompted on what kind of symbol you want. Search for the type of um, symbol related to the brand and you'll see it all loads from the noun project. I simply selected a, um, a cactus I liked and then I added a tagline. So you don't have to worry about fine tuning it now, it's all about positioning. So they use a neat grid and we place it. But now I want to change the text. So I click the logo and then I chose um, a kind of funky looking text for a cactus brand. And then I wanna change the font family of the tagline. And I chose Nonito. And then you simply drag from the corner, align to the grid. If you need anything um, done finally, you can actually just click the item and then use your arrows on your keyboard to fine tune pixel by pixel. So right now it's looking pretty cool and I just wanna, um, you know, align a few things um, slightly, but I kind of want to change the color of the tagline to be a little bit lighter than the logo text. So you can either drag within the color area or you can manually enter in um, the RGB color code. Six, six, six is a little too dark. I want it 999, looks cool. You know, there's lots of little fine tunes you can do, but I'm going to save this logo, it's good enough for now. And I want it high res. And there it is. I chose the option with the transparent background of white text because of the example of the landing page. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Make sure you use the code OPL10 at squarespace.com to get 10% off your plan when signing up.